You know what you get when you buy a box of soup? More useless trash. Pumpkins and squash have their own compostable packaging that doesn't have to be recycled. And this shit just came out of the ground like this. Today we're gonna conspire to make a delicious fall soup that's hella cheap and super delicious. Welcome to the Anarchist Cookbook. So this glorious piece of food here looks wonderful on the outside, but like so many of the organizations that control our lives, it's ugly on the inside. Also, set your oven to 250, you'll be glad we did. So there's no reforming this yucky situation with votes. We gotta clean it out. So let's scoop out all this grossness. And there you have it all cleaned out so we can reorganize this into something better. One of the ways I like to spice up the revolution is with a fiery sweet treat. So collect all your seeds and throw them on a tray. They're going to go into an oven for an hour and you're going to get some explosive flavor. Now back to our pumpkin. These are kind of hard to work with so what we're going to do is break it down into manageable pieces. But don't feel intimidated. We're going to do it the same exact way you dismantle an oppressive governmental system. So let's get to work. Now you're going to have to take a peeler to these, and combined with the scooping, it's really going to strengthen those arms so you can improve the distance you can launch a gas grenade back at the police. God damn it. I look like a real shithead. I don't look like I know how to use these tools at all. And I'm like peeling, it's just going everywhere. We strike the root vegetables. You know, it's not the onions that make me cry. It's the million of nonviolent offenders that are commodified by the prison industrial complex to make rich people more wealthy. Next, we heat up a little bit of oil in the skillet and toss in our onions and our carrots. Then add a couple of cloves of garlic and a tablespoon of fresh ginger. Finally, we finish it off with salt, pepper, and a generous helping of sage. You're gonna let this cook for about five or six minutes until it's golden brown. Now you wanna drown it all, like the death that keeps our economy afloat, in four cups of vegetable stock. I'll show you how to make it later. Now we let it simmer for 30 to 40 minutes. Now I love the explosive nature of a boil, but sometimes you have to let it simmer. It's like a weekly trip to Walmart to steal instead of just burning one down. Like the revolution, some soups require smaller gestures to accomplish our goals. Next we want to get all these ingredients blended up, similar to the class system after we take down all the elites and oligarchs. It's going to make this beautiful egalitarian soup instead of these chunks of goodness. We're going to get it all blended together so everybody gets an even distribution of all this flavor. Now you might have to do it in batches just depending on the amount of pumpkin that you did, but it'll, it's going to work out great. All right, and now our soup is done and there's plenty to go around. So invite some friends over and share tips about how we can avoid paying taxes into the machine that enslaves us all. Now let's get to those pumpkin seeds because you're going to love what we do with these. Heat up a tablespoon and a half of oil in a pan. Peanut works the best. After it's good and hot, toss in your seeds and two tablespoons of sugar. Heat up the seeds for about 45 to 60 seconds or until they're brown. After the seeds are brown, Toss them into a bowl with two tablespoons of sugar and a quarter teaspoon each of ginger, salt, cumin, and cinnamon, and a pinch of cayenne, unless you're a gringo. From there, you wanna shake things up 
just like the political system. So get to it, share some seeds, spread the seeds of revolution, spice it up. That's all the catchphrases I can think of. See you next time. There's gotta be a better tool for this. I don't do it like that at all. What do you do? I cut it off of this thing. So I would have cut it into like sixes, like wedges, and then I would have cut it all out on the inside. You've seen me do it before. Don't look at me like that. I haven't. Yes, you have.